today. So basically we're going over all the basic fundamentals on how to fly and then I start flight school. So this is gonna be extremely exciting because it's something I've always wanted to do. It's something that's always been on my bucket list. So here I am. So I will be vlogging the entire day for you guys and let you guys know how it goes. So right now what we're doing is he's just basically going over the entire plane with me and just giving me instruction on um, just what the plane consists of and like all the parts and stuff like that on the plane. Um, so I don't, a, lot of, a lot of it will be classroom work, but for now um, I'm learning a plane and it's just really, really a dream come true to do this. It's like so awesome. Like this is my life. Really? This is my life? Okay. I'll take it. But we're going to go up in the air. We're going to fly. Mason's really nice. He's a younger instructor, but he's really nice. Um, super excited to get in the air and start this whole journey. Bye. So this is called the cockpit, and we are checking the plane. Right. And these are my little headphones. So you check them to make sure that all the um, they're all full or they all have enough? That, that they, they don't have any sediment or okay. any water in them and that it's a blue tint because blue okay. tint, it means that we have the proper gas in here because there's airplanes that use green, which is a little bit lower fuel and okay. then there's like a straw color and that's jet fuel and our airplane won't even run on jet fuel. Okay. It'll actually just stop running. Okay, gotcha. But I'll learn that in classroom. <laughs> So under your seat, there's another little tab right here. It's like a plastic piece, and that adjusts the back. So this little that, tiny uh, thing, right? If you Is want like one? a more up or down, like kind of lumbar. Support. This thing right here, right? I'm sorry, mm -hmm. right there. So that like will move the back. And oh, okay, gotcha. It. Okay. Real quick, so we get some air. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start start up the airplane when I start it. Short people problems. This is real because I probably need a high chair or a little booster seat because I'm short, and that's okay. Oil pressure, oil temperature. That all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the avionics switch. Is it supposed to be like in the middle or something? Yeah. So oil temperature because it's I mean, it just started. Is it okay. in green yet? But our oil pressure is in the green, which okay. is what we want. Essentially, if everything's in the green, that means that we're, we're happy. Okay, perfect. I'm more like a, this is like a, a, tour, a tour for me right now. We're <laughs> just so out of the business of the green. I have, I have a few guys who are the GoPro people. Oh, nice. I was the GoPro thing. Nice. Yeah, that's, I'll definitely have some. said I was a natural, you know, because my competitiveness <laughs> is getting, um, but it was so awesome, like, is this even my life right now, like, 
This is something I've always wanted to do and I'm the type of person to just really go after things if I want them. Um, and this is definitely one of my goals, uh, just in life in general, just to be able to fly. We actually seen dolphins, which was amazing. You could see the water from up there is just totally different. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go back inside now and then I'm gonna uh, really look into uh, what it takes to actually go to school here. I guess you need about 70 hours of flight time in a period of six months. So it's about two times a week I'll be flying. Um, and then a lot of just like classroom work. So I'm extremely excited about this adventure and um, I'm gonna get a little, a better camera to set up um, in on the dashboard and stuff like that when I'm taking my lessons so I can bring you guys along with me to see what it takes to be a pilot. So this makes me feel extremely independent and uh, it's just really, really cool like to get a like, pilot license. Like who does that? Who does that for real? Is this real life? store you guys I actually have to get a booster seat because I am extremely short <laughs> and I could barely see over the dash and my feet could barely reach the pedals so I need a booster seat for all my short short girls out there booster seat to get my pilot, pilot license the struggle um, I just came and picked up my actual books that I need um, to start to so this ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing some homework I'm not the best person at homework and reading stuff, but I'm gonna have to get through this so Wish me luck Good morning everybody. I'm on my way to um, <clears throat> Get sailing certified now. I am just kind of going a little bit crazy on certifications and just everything I've ever wanted to do with my life I'm just going for it and um, I've had a, a rough last week So I just one day I was just like these are all the things that I want to do and so I scheduled them and I'm doing them so the pilot lesson was just completely amazing and mind-blowing and just so empowering just to do something like that for myself and something I've always wanted to do as well is a uh, sail it's extremely peaceful when you turn off like the engine and stuff like that I've been sailing and different um, on vacations and stuff like that and I just think it's so so relaxing um, and one of my dreams has always been to be able to sail into the sunset like uh, just with a group of friends or by myself. I just always thought that was just an amazing idea So I am going to be sailing for the next three days with a private captain in Newport Beach It's about 15 minutes from where I live uh, It's gonna be four hours a day and then I take a written test and I get certified um, So basically that allows me to rent boats sailboats by myself um, and go sailing by myself So it's it's awesome. I can't wait to show you guys Just how peaceful it is out there in the ocean and kind of just take you guys to uh, through my through my few days I don't know if I'm gonna do the entire thing probably because every day I think I'll learn something different um, I didn't pack my meals today that was my bad so I actually went and got a um, <clears throat> I get the egg uh, feta wraps from Starbucks if you're ever on the go and then I went and got a chicken bowl at this place called Rubio's it's right literally in like the little shopping plaza right across the street from my house and then I got a uh, salmon sushi over rice um, then I got a black coffee and I'm bringing my BCAAs. So you guys can see my black coffee, my BCAAs for the day. But I'm super excited about this. I'm also running late, so I'm gonna let you guys go, but I'm gonna take you guys on today's journey, adventures. You guys just stay tuned for so many adventures. Like it's summer, like I'm just living my life. So I'm excited to show you guys when I get out there. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm following the captain over to um, the actual dock where we're going to um, <clears throat> sail off from or dock from, whatever you call it. I'm sure I'll know the terms by the end of the day. Um, but he seems cool. He's like younger. He seems like he's in his 30s and so he's not like an old boring captain. So this should be fun. But they're saying that there's no toilet on the boat and we're gonna be on there for four hours and I have so many liquids with me I think I'm gonna have to jump in the water and just be beasted out so anyway I'm super excited because it's like 75 degrees and it's just a perfect perfect day like 75 degrees at 12 o'clock like how can it be any more perfect today so I'm excited What's up everybody? So I am actually out here um, on the new uh, in Newport um, but I'm 
getting instruction right now and it's actually um, on a Harbor 20. So if anybody knows anything about sailing, um, it's basically the starter boat that you start with um, and then you move up from there. But um, it's gonna be a 20 foot boat. Um, I'm gonna need to learn all the basics today um, and it's really pretty out here, so I'm excited. up uh, the first day of sailing it was definitely amazing it was everything I thought it was gonna be um, just to be out in the water and sailing with the wind was really awesome um, we are cleaning up the boat now putting everything away the ropes and all the sails and everything like that um, and then I'll be back out here uh, tomorrow and the next day so today's Thursday Friday Saturday um, and this is the beginning course so it's the 101 course and then after this I'll be taking the 103 and 104 course which means I'll be sailing to Catalina Island um, and it's a little more intense but this is all the basics uh, today was awesome so I'm wrapping up day of sailing wow 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 that's all I can say I am just in love with life right now I'm just doing everything that my heart desires and it feels so good um, to be out on a sailboat and to just be able to be learning a skill to be out in the water and just at peace like I've been on I've been on sailboats before but it's different when you're actually sailing the boat because you learn the winds and you learn like how to catch catch wind and like or just all these like sailing terms and it's just it's so awesome the flight lesson was awesome yesterday this was awesome today like I said it's the next two days I'll be doing this and um, and then I go up from there as far as certifications but <sighs> gonna get a pilot license gonna become a captain well technically it's not a captain but basically you're a captain so I'm gonna be Captain Jessica pilot Jessica we out um, but I think I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna have I have a business meeting right now and I think I'm gonna hit back a little bit later um, but kind of just taking you guys through my days and um, I had a little bit of sushi on the boat I had a feta wrap this morning like I showed you guys I am drinking some water and I always have my BCAAs with me like I, I know I always preach BCAAs but you guys I really drink BCAAs like throughout the day it's my sweet tooth for sure it's very satisfying um, I normally get these Starbucks cups because they are just the bomb and like these um, the, like the straws don't even come out even if you wanted them to so you never lose your straws and they're just like they keep it cold and they're just awesome I love them well actually this is lasting me all day but definitely one of my secrets is to drink BCAs throughout the day to save me from eating anything bad um, so it was perfect today um, it's about four o'clock right now I'm gonna go have a business meeting try to go my house still looks crazy because I want to paint and I need to hang up my I need to get some chandeliers and then just like finish decorating I'm extremely indecisive so the decorating part trying to make it modern rustic look like chic look I don't even know if that's a word or a name whatever but I have the finishing look that I have in mind is awesome um, so I might make it over to Lowe's or Home Depot tonight because my little brother's been he's been the one that's in the videos and stuff like that he graduated from psychology and he's been staying with me um, he's gonna be staying with me kind of just um, we don't really have a date to when he goes back because um, he's actually off for a semester so um, until he goes into his master's program. So he's here and it's great having company around. He's positive company. Um, and we're just having fun. And uh, anyway, today was amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go have a business meeting now and go work out later. Long, long day. So 
I will show you guys what I work out later. Good morning, everybody. Um, so day two of sailing, uh, just got up this morning and I'm doing a bunch of stuff for work, for a walk in my fashion. Um, and then also I made breakfast. Well, my little brother made it for me. So we're doing egg whites. Oops. We're doing egg whites and we're doing uh, oats and then coffee with sugar-free um, coffee mate and half a Splenda, how I normally take it. Um, I'm also doing a little bit of uh, studying for the sailing uh, 101. Um, it's really, it's fairly easy too. It's, it's not too bad. Like this is mainly what they said I need to study is the points of sail. Um, so I just need to know like um, what is what when, um, like what direction I'm sailing in the wind. So all, it's all about the wind, that's what it's called. Or that's that section that I need to study. So I'll be studying this this morning. So it's pretty simple. The sailing certification uh, I did yesterday. I'm doing it today, it's four hours each day, and then I'm doing it Saturday. My instructor's pretty cool too, but I have not been, I, I didn't really record us throughout the day because it was just me and him on the boat, and I really just wanted to make sure that I was getting uh, all the information that I needed. Just being out there, and it, it doesn't it has a small little like powered engine but it's not really loud or anything so like if we get stuck somewhere and we don't have enough wind um, in the sails then we'll turn that on um, but for the most part it's literally you're just sailing with the wind so it's extremely relaxing he said his normal clientele is normally older people uh, people that are like retired and just want to go sail and um, just be peace just be like at peace out there in the ocean but honestly like I don't know I've always had an old soul so and I've always thought sailing was just really really cool it's a really cool skill so I'll probably go run and grab some sushi it's just I like sushi because it's extremely easy to put down for me and it's like not extremely filling and it's if you just get the rolls like it's really easy just to eat on a boat or on the go um, yeah so see you guys out in the water So my freaking neck is completely burnt, like so burnt. <laughs> Rick's laughing at me. Rick has been the captain for the last couple days, even though I think I was the captain, but I'm really not. Um, but we are done with the three days of sailing 101. I'm gonna go on to the 103, 104 um, to Catalina for five days, but that's gonna be in August. Um, so now I'm, I have to actually pass the test now. Um, so I'm gonna come back in a few days and take it and then I'll officially be certified to actually sail this boat right here Which is a harbor 20. It's a 20 foot boat and it's uh, made to stay in the harbor It can't go out to the ocean because it's not really big enough um, But all in all amazing experience definitely a workout my freaking thighs are Extremely sore from the last couple days like I'm using muscles in my legs for sure that I never have used before Sailing is definitely a skill um, And it's a good workout. It's not like you're just out there on a motorboat. So that's really cool um yeah, that's all.